Ooh, this sounds spicy. I'm here for it. Hey guys, I'm Haley as an Aura. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it'd be great to show you guys what I plan on reading for the month of March. My March TBR, if you will. So excited to do one of these videos. Ooh, never done one before. The first book I plan on tackling in March is... Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. Now this is um, one of the Twisted Tales from the Twisted Tales series and this one is a Twisted Tale on Mulan. Now I love Mulan. I love Disney in general. I read As Old As Time, the Twisted Tale of Beauty and the Beast. Absolutely loved that one. So this one is basically what if Mulan had to travel to the underworld. I'm about a quarter of the way in it and I can tell you it is so good. The next book on my TBR is Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall. I don't know much about this book to be honest. I just wanted it because this cover is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> With like the watercolor and like the bird cage. It kind of just from looking at the cover gave me the sense that the main character has agoraphobia. And then I read the synopsis and the main character has agoraphobia. So of course I was immediately intrigued because I've never read a book with a character with agoraphobia before and I'm really curious to see how it's gonna be portrayed. Basically our main character Nora she is afraid to go outside because of natural disasters and whatnot until she meets her cute neighbor Luke. They begin a friendship and apparently they end up falling in love but she is ashamed of who she is basically. To me this sounds a lot like everything everything but this character has agoraphobia which is a mental illness whereas the character in everything everything had uh, more of a condition where she couldn't go outside for her health. And that's all I'm saying about that if you haven't read it. Next up is The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Now this is a graphic novel that we got in February's Owl Crate. And to be honest, I don't really read graphic novels, but the art in this is just so cool. like honestly so I'm really excited to read this this will be probably like a quick one hour read so I'm here for it the next book is Paperweight by Meg Haston now all I really know about this book is this teenage girl is in an eating disorder institution because she has an eating disorder obviously doesn't quite say what her eating disorder is but by the way the synopsis sounds I'm guessing anorexia her father has sent her to this institution to live there for 60 days and he probably thinks that it's just magically gonna get better but she's actually planning on killing herself taking her own life leading up to the anniversary of her brother Josh's death whoa the death she caused apparently Ooh, this sounds spicy I'm here for it and if Stevie gets her way there are only 27 days until she too will end her life Wow, so this girl plans on killing herself the day of her, like the anniversary of her brother's death, which she feels like she has caused. I wonder if that's what caused the eating disorder. I'm definitely going to do a review on this because even just reading the synopsis, I just want to dive right in. Next up on my TBR is Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Now, I have read Heartless by Marissa Meyer and absolutely loved it. About the detail in the writing I could just paint the picture in my head and it was so magical and then of course that ending ripped my heart out and stomped on it so I'm kind of hoping this does the same but I love how it's like the fairy tales but it's basically steampunk honestly that's so cool from what I've gathered from it Cinderella is like a robot or something oh she's a cyborg she's a cyborg it's like a retelling of Cinderella but Cinderella is a cyborg definitely steampunk definitely want to read 
And the next book on my TBR for the month is A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. Now I honestly don't know much about this book. Um, it was suggested to me by my friend on Instagram, book lover dude. From what I've gathered from it, it is two foster brothers who were separated years later finally meet again and it seems like one of the foster brothers is still going through some abusive stuff. Bear with me, I've only read that much. But I really like the writing, I like the story it's telling. I'm invested in the characters already and I've only read 40 pages. The last book in my March TBR is The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. This is the first book of the Trials of Apollo series. Now I just need to dive right into this, I'm just saying, because I have read every single Rick Riordan book there is, obsessed with his writing and his stories that he tells through these Greek myths and these characters like Percy Jackson. What I have gathered from this is Apollo the god is punished by Zeus for doing something stupid because if you've read the books Apollo is always doing something stupid and he gets banished to earth and turned into this not so hot teenager and he's probably got to go on some quest to get his life back as a god and honestly sounds so cool. I devour Mr. Riordan's books completely every single time. So that is it for my March TBR. I just want to cancel all my plans and dive into all these books. Cannot wait. You'll probably see some of these books in the reading vlog I plan on filming hopefully starting today. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, click the little bell button to get notified for my next video. Follow me on social media. I'll link my Instagram handle below. And yeah, bye-bye guys.